Hey, I hadn't made a video in a while, um, so I wanted to give you an update. Still in Anchorage, Alaska, um, working at the VA. Um, got a permanent position there, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was the evolution of morality. Um, because I think morality does evolve. Um, in, in fact, I have evidence for that. Um, during the Civil War, um, the Civil War was fought over slavery, okay, and uh, prior to that, I imagine maybe 50, 60 years prior to that, the majority of people thought slavery was okay, um, condoned it. So, over time, individuals who found the practice abhorrent spread their beliefs and the Civil War was waged, basically. I mean, you can argue it was more about states' rights, but, y you know, um, I think it'd be more about the federal government establishing rights for, for everyone, regardless of state of residency, um, which, in theory, I would argue for, unless it um, is more power for the federal government and not guaranteeing a right for individual citizens. Um, while I think the federal government had the right to free the slaves and make everyone, you know, give everyone voting privileges like women and minorities, and I think that's a good thing. I think the federal government um, should not be able to pro, um, prohibit what they consider illicit substances without a constitutional amendment. If you will remember, that's origi originally the reason for alcohol prohibition was only because there was a constitutional amendment. Um, outlawing marijuana and other substances, there were never constitutional amendments. Um, I would argue that those are, in fact, illegal prohibitions brought about by the government illegally that um, should be overturned in a court of law, however you'll rarely see a judge agree with me on that, obviously. But, you know, if it had to be done for alcohol prohibition, a constitutional amendment, why not drug prohibition, other drugs, because alcohol is a drug. In fact, it's the most commonly used one and has been for quite some time, regardless of prohibition of it being illegal or legal. So anyways, I want to say that um, morals develop over time. They actually evolve which hopefully we're getting towards a more egalitarian um, society, you, you know, with everyone being equal as time goes on. However, I would argue that the forces of old and evil um, of uh, authoritarianism still constantly, needlessly interfere in our lives. I mean, they turn boarding an airplane into an entire sadomasochistic experience. Um, if you're into sadomasochism, great for you. I am not. Um, I don't like to be humiliated. I resent being humiliated. It makes me angry. It makes me want to fight. And that's what I find TSA. I find it just needless humilita humiliation of children and the elderly a lot of times. You know, it seems like the TSA will just go out of their way to be insensitive and inhumane. And I, I think we're always in danger with our government getting more and more and more like that, more authoritarianistic, and I think that needs to be fought. But anyways, I just wanted to um, talk about the evolution of morality, how it is not set in stone, how it changes over time. Um, it's certainly changed a lot since the time of Jesus, when slavery was condoned by everyone, everyone that mattered and you know, except maybe the slaves, but obviously no one was listening to them. Um, so, I would argue that morals come from God is actually an extremely weak argument. Um, especially if you base it off the New and Old Testament, which don't really even go together very well. It seems like it's two different gods. A God for the Old Testament and a God for the New Testament. So I'd argue that. And, uh, Actually, what I would like to talk about in the comments below, if any of you want to comment, um, could you give me predictions for 
morals a hundred years in the future, you know, um, or say two hundred years if you feel comfortable getting a little wilder in what might be condoned and so socially acceptable at that time, or what might be uh, verboten, what might be forbidden in another hundred years, two hundred years. For example, I bet my tobacco might go through prohibition. I bet maybe tobacco will be outlawed. That's one prediction I could make. You know, I could see a lot of things happening for our own good. You know, taking adult responsibility for one's own life away and instead having the state dictate what you're going to do for your own good. Forced exercise. Um, um, forced diet, you know, maybe they'll make you eat certain things. So that's something I predict happening more and more in the future. Society telling individuals, you will do this. We are going to treat you like imbecile children. We are going to make you live the life we want you to live. So I think it will get more author authoritarian. Sorry, I'm having a hard time saying that today, and I'm kind of a mush mouth anyways. So um, tell me what you think below, and... Maybe I'll make a video if you have a really good comment and, you know, we get some exchange going on. Alright, talk to y'all later. Bye.